y'all welcome and welcome back to my channel today i'm doing a tutorial of this high knot bun so if you are interested just keep watching and i'm gonna show you step by step of how to achieve this look okay so in today's story time i'm gonna be telling y'all about my experience to florida and um you know what i did for my birthday or whatever yeah, i don't want to pull out too much but yeah let's see so let's first start off for my birthday. Me and my friend Jennifer, as you guys know, we had went to Orlando for my birthday or whatever. It was really cool, like it really was. But it was cool until I got on the plane. So let me tell y'all. Now mind you, this wasn't my first plane ride. Why am I pulling out all these edges? Okay, I've been on one when I was like 14. I believe and I went to California so we caught a plane out here we didn't catch the one that was in uh, New Orleans so the one out here we had to catch two planes so from here to Atlanta and then Atlanta to Orlando this plane ride was to the freaking death of me like and it's not to scare anybody that's going on a plane or anything First things first, um, you know, I was super happy. I was ready. I was like, Jen, you ready? So she was she was all for it, y'all. She was already. First of all, the plane was too compact. Like it was too close in together. So then after that, I'm like, okay, uh, I don't I don't know about this no more. So I'm up there putting my bag on top of the plane, on top of the seat thing where we sit in, you know, the attendant. We asked her, do she have any advice to give to us? Y'all, don't y'all know this lady looked at us so stupid? She was like, Are you serious? Like, I'm on my job trying to handle business and stuff, and y'all asking for some advice. <laughs> y'all asking for some advice trying to uh, calm y'all nerves. And she, like, her eyes was just so book Like, she was just like this. Was, no, first we asked her, we was like, ma'am, could you come in? She was like, okay, what's wrong? It was like, do you have any advice for us on um, being that, you know, we are first time flyers? And she was just like, no, she was like, just sit tight. <laughs> ah, so then after that, me and Jennifer got to laugh and tell ourselves, y'all. And guess what she do? She called the other flight attendant, y'all. And she got the nerve to put us on blast. She gonna tell the other lady, she was like, you know, you know any advice you can give to them? And then she got the nerve to loud cap, y'all. She loud cap this. She was like, you have any advice you can give to them being that they're first time flyers? I was like, chill. I was like, cool, you know what, Jen? We just gonna, we just gonna ride it out. So Jennifer, being that this her first time, remember, she had to sit by the window. So I was like, hey, go for it. She had to see everything that was going on. I was like, girl, you serious? I can't even look out the window. Like, I was so scared or whatever. Y'all, now we waiting for takeoff. But as we're waiting, I hear the, the people come on, the intercom or whatever, and they telling us to, like, like safety precautions and whatnot of what to do if such and such happen. As they speaking about this, my heart is, like, Super, it's racing fast. It's racing. So they had the lit, um, they had the lit things, the lit inflatable, what is it, life suits? Yeah, inflatable life suits or whatever. And just in case we had to do an emergency land, and they telling us if the lights come on outside, like the walkway or whatever, that you can follow those lines just for an emergency exit. So I'm like, oh my God, just come on. They do that. And then, y'all, we about to take off. So our plane is like, it's going slow, it's going slow. The lady's still talking on the intercom. So then I'm like, oh my God, Jennifer, we finna take off. So then, after that, after it got quiet and everything, everybody doing their little thing or whatever. I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> we both looking at each other, it was like, oh my gosh, no, this is not about to happen. Like, this is not about to <laughs> Y'all, it's so funny right now because, but it wasn't then. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't funny right then. Right then and then, no. Everything was serious mode. So then the plane 
after that the plane that finally took off it was going so fast it was going so fast i was like oh my god y'all i was saying oh my gosh the whole time the whole time do you hear me my head was down like this the whole time and my leg was shaking like jennifer was trying to talk to me i was like hold on just let me get my thoughts and stuff together i, I just couldn't do it y'all i couldn't talk i kept looking at the time though you gotta put your phone on airplane mode just um I'm trying to make sure this ponytail is straight, y'all. But you gotta put your phone on airplane mode just so it won't mess up any navigations or whatever when the pilot is flying the plane. So my thing is, how in the heck do they be um, being able to see at night like without going into other planes? We finally made it to Atlanta, which was our first stop. And uh, the airport is so confusing out there. The ponytail is basically where I want it to be. I'm trying to straighten out these edges. And we got to get on another plane. So we're, find, we're trying to make our way to finding our second plane. And then um, we get on that plane. I was a little bit... Now, I wouldn't say relieved, but I was a, a little less stressed out. Being that this plane was a little bit bigger, kind of like more people on the plane, I don't know, it just made me feel a little bit better. Let's just put it like that. I'm going to use this Easy Braid hair, and I'm going to wrap this hair around my hair. So we get on that plane, and then we fly to Orlando, which was about, I believe, 45 to an hour. Ooh, the part that was really scaring me the most was that the plane would, okay, so, okay, so I'm the plane, okay? <laughs> I'm the plane and it'll like tilt and it'll be like, Arr. so y'all, mind you, I could feel myself like tilting in the air. Like, I was like, oh no, I ain't fucking, nope, you know what I mean? Like we, another thing we was about to land, all we saw was clouds, of course, when you're in the air, but all we saw was clouds and we going like straight down and my friend Jennifer, she asked me, what the city lights it? I was like, oh my God, shit, I don't know. Y'all, we was just paranoid. It was like one false move in the air and we just thought every bad thing in the world if we like was feeling like rough winds in the air. And they had the lady was passing out the um the food or whatever. Not the food, but you know the little snacks or whatever. I was like, uh, -huh, I can't eat right now. Okay, so we get to Florida. FYI, Universal Studios have like three big rides there. So if you like to ride like a lot of rides and you're old, then Universal is pretty much not for you because they have like a lot of kitty attractions there. I'm gonna insert a clip wait we went to universal and we went to sea world we had so much fun like we really did i'm gonna insert a clip right here of um a ride we did at sea world so first we went to universal and we had got on this ribbon ride when i tell y'all this ride this ride so scared so it's kind of like you pick your own music and as you're going into the air you pick your own music on the roller coaster they got a little thing and they got rock, they got pop, they got hip hop. I forgot which one I picked, but I know she picked um, a song called Pump It Loud. And the reason how I know is because it was playing on my screen and I'm like, how the hell is this song playing on my screen? I didn't I didn't pick this and all I hear in the air as we going up is ah, pump it ah. Like if y'all know this song then it's a song by Black Eyed Peas or whatever out there. I was like, oh my gosh, like I know we're not gonna do this. As soon as the music started to like play like loud and loud drop, like we was at the top. At the top of the um the roller coaster. It was hitting so many loops. It was so much fun. Like, if I could do it all again, I would. I don't know about the plane. No, I don't know about the plane. Nope. I'm going to attach this rubber band to my hair and do it that way. Um. 
Um, we had the funnel cakes. I just really wish I would have went to Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is like really fun. It's really, really fun. Universal is too. It just don't have enough rides for like older, older adults. Right now, I'm basically about to wrap my hair around the braiding hair just so my hair can be hiding in between there. And as I'm doing it, I will, y'all gonna see me twist this bad boy. Twist it as I'm going around. pretty much it on the bun and then I like to take a little scrunchie and then put it around there and then double back on it and put it on there so I'm gonna get a bobby pin I'm gonna take a bobby pin and fix this I'm gonna just stick this part down but so this is the high knot bun this is all it's supposed to be, so I'm about to go ahead and do my baby hairs. Okay, so wait, before I start off with that, another thing, that night we had went to our hotel, back to our hotel and everything. We rode a few rides at Universal, went back to our hotel and we rested for a little bit, I think, and we had ordered some food or whatever. So the next day we had went to uh, SeaWorld and we had got on, now SeaWorld, I ain't gonna lie, SeaWorld had them rides. SeaWorld had them big old rides that, you know, we enjoyed. Oh yeah, another thing, like if y'all going to Universal, like around this time during COVID and stuff, just make sure y'all have the Universal app or the, I don't remember SeaWorld doing it, but um, just make sure y'all have like the app so that y'all can reserve y'all spots to go on the rides and stuff. It's mostly for like the big rides. If you don't have them, then baby, you gonna be waiting all day. You gonna be waiting all day to get in those, uh, to ride those rides. And I had got a picture drawing, but I had left it in an Uber, y'all. I couldn't believe it. So that was that. We came back that night after SeaWorld and a restaurant in our hotel. So. We was like, okay, we just gonna get some food in the hotel instead of like just going out. Guess what happened? So we did that and I ordered the burger and Jennifer had a pizza. So I bit into the burger and I was like, okay, this tastes a little bit kind of burnt. So I, I wasn't feeling it anyway. So I was just trying to think of a way to already find something else. So then after that, I said, Jennifer was sitting down, she was eating her pizza or whatever. So then I was like, okay, Jen, whatever you do, please don't move. I had a trash can on side of her, so. And then y'all guess what it was? It was a big, it was a roach. It was a roach. Like, while we eating and y'all, guess what the man did, y'all? He came over and he asked, the man that cooked our food, he came over, he asked, what's wrong? I was like, they got a roach right there. And he was like, okay, where is it? And I pointed at it. And then y'all, he took his hand, he took his hand and killed the roach. Do you know how disgusting it is? Like, I was like, oh no. And I was like, sir, we're not gonna pay for this food because it was just like, that's so disgusting. Like, why would you kill a roach in front of us? I wasn't trying to be too dramatic, y'all, but Florida, I don't know, because our experience, I mean, our hotel was nice. It was just that, I guess because the trash can was right there. I don't know. I'm just trying to get a benefit of the doubt, y'all. 
but that was really gross like that was really gross so then we had we had went to get i don't know i think it was late or whatever that night so what we did um we had got some other food we had ordered like uber eats or something like that all that night we had went to like a club or whatever when i tell y'all nobody on the strip at first we was gonna go to the strip club but i think we was like too far from away from there nobody on the strip had on a mask nobody y'all nobody me and Jennifer, the only people who had like our masks. I was like, okay, so this must not be a thing down here then. And y'all, when I tell y'all, like they just didn't care. They didn't care about no masks. They didn't care about, the club was so packed. So freaking packed. It was time to go. Like, so what did we do after that? Like we, we only stayed there in the club for about a good 15 to 20 minutes. Probably not even that. Cause it was just so crowded y'all. We could not move. After that we had went to go to the room and that was pretty much it. We really enjoyed ourselves. We really did like for real, for real. We was trying to throw some ones at the strip club, honestly, just to have some fun but it was too far for us. Next time, I think I wanna go to Miami. This is my high knot bun. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video.